my channel today we are going to be making a scooter bag very similar to this one you can hold all your bits inside um, you can either have velcro attachments if you stick uh, st sew some velcro there it will then go over the handlebars on your bike or your scooter I have 3d printed mine um, as a quick release system so I can just literally hook it over my my scooter okay and to, we're gonna be doing this one so here's how we make it so for our bag today I will be using an upholstery denim um, so one piece you'll need cut one in this it's 30 39 centimeters by 27 centimeters okay the next piece is 24 centimeters um, height by 27 centimeters along again one of those so this is the inside pocket and also a cup holder um, or a bottle holder for inside the bag so it's 27 centimeters sorry 23 centimeters along 16 centimeters down cut two of these if you want an inside pocket and um, a cup holder this one here is 11 centimeters by 11 this is the outside front pocket it's only small it goes uh, in between the webbing one of those and this one here is 10 centimeters wide and it's 77 centimeters long it's quite a long piece that but cut one of those now I'll, uh, so I'll get cutting and I'll let you know the process on how I put it together so with your pattern pieces the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zigzag stitch all the way around the edges just so it doesn't fray I'm just using a normal sewing machine no serger or anything um, just to make it simple so anyone can make this so I'll start with that and I'll come back when I've done it all so hopefully you can see that well I've just zigzag stitched all the way around the edge just to stop it from fraying right I have um, this is an inside pocket and this one is the bottle holder and this one is the front pocket so I'm just going to turn it in one centimetre. I'm going to clip it down. Clip it down. And then I'm just going to do a straight stitch across the top there just to make it look nice and neat. And that will be the front pocket ready to go on the bag. This one is the inside pocket. So again, I'm going to fold it over just a centimetre, straight stitch across the top. Uh, let's just fold that in a centimetre. There we go. Okay, and then once you've done um, a straight stitch across there, again that makes it all nice and neat when you're putting it on the inside of the bag this one here is for the bottle holder so same again you turn it up a centimetre pin it down I do the same all the way across this one turn it around and do exactly the same for this um, straight stitch across both ends and then we're ready to start putting the bag together right so now we have our pattern pieces we need to put it all together so this is the back with the flap that goes over the front what I do is get my pins out Right, the long piece I'm just going to fold in half. <clears throat> so 
so I'm going to put a pin in the middle there it just tells me where the center is turn it over put a pin in there again it's only to show me where the center of the fabric is so this is the back I'll do the same with this these in just to show where the center is there and then that just helps with the positioning of of everything so <clears throat> on the back right side fabric facing up this part facing down and then we are going to sew along there leave a centimeter So leave a centimetre each end of the back. We are also having a um, pocket on the inside on this one. So I'm going to just turn it over. And that's my inside pocket, the one with just um, where I folded it over at the top. That goes right side in so when you open the bag you've got the, the pocket looking at you there okay so I'm going to pin all this together it should be relatively even okay pop that there okay pop another one that end another one that end just to keep it all together so <clears throat> that's the inside so the pocket is the right side up and that's how we're gonna sew so for the moment a centimeter in so a straight stitch right the way down and leave a centimeter space at the end so let's do that quick I always back stitch a couple of times first stops any uh, unravelling And that's the first section done. Tidy up the scragglers. I try and do this as I'm going along. It saves any uh, long threads that I've missed at the end. Right then. So that's the first section done. Now we need to put the front on. So that's the front, turn it over so it's back to back and on the front we were having the baby pocket okay so baby pocket goes in the middle so I'm gonna fold that in half just so I can get the center point on here and put that straight do the same with the baby pocket there we go so front that pocket is going to sit on there pin that in place like that okay then Turn it over and pin it in place. Okay, there. 
so I'll do an extra one there just to keep them together an extra one there just to keep these bits nice and straight and then one there one there okay so now we're going to be stitching along here again leave a centimetre spare at the end um, so that we can go onto the sides so into the machine back stitch Spragglers. Mm. All right. That's the confusing part. Almost done. So. Right. So apologies. We've got a little bird. Our jellies come to join us, bless her. So we're on to the webbing now. I've already done one section. It's just to keep it there in place. Um, now we have the little the little bird with us. So um, you're going to measure the webbing you need. So a couple of centimetres from the top of what will be the front of the bag. Measure down all the way along and have a little bit hanging over. We can cut it shorter at a later date, it's, that's a later time, that's not a problem. And here's the pocket. So I'm going to grab a ruler and measure seven centimetres in, uh, about there. We'll line it up, that's good. And I'm going to stick a pin in there just to keep it secure. And then go down again seven centimeters and it covers the edge of that pocket nicely hello baby you've seen the pin haven't you no leave that alone come on baby oh, look you can play with that one oh, what's this yeah you don't want that no okay all right we'll have to do this while we're sewing Let's have a look. You come in. Thank you. So pop this on the machine. And we're going to do a back stitch first. And I'm going to have to remove that pin because the little one is constantly there. Hello. What are you doing? So seven centimetres. Make sure this matches all the way down. And start sewing. Just double check it's the right, the right measurement. Seven. And pocket's nice and flat. So where the pocket top is, I'm just going to back stitch a bit just to give it some extra strength. Keep going. Right, let's measure again. Seven centimetres. Let's get it over that seam. and your beak come on where are you going you are crazy 
What are you doing? Hey? Are you playing with me now? Right, mind yourself. Jelly! Okay, we are going to stop at this point. So backstitch. Because we need to go around to to move the pocket. Ho ho. What are you doing, bird? Are you playing? <laughs> you silly thing. You okay? Right, and then we're going to go around and do the same down that side. Aren't we? Yes. Up we go. As you can see, we engage with our birds rather than cage them. So, uh, you do a lot of stuff with me, don't you? Too close. Too close, little one. You step up there. Oh, step down there. Good bird. <laughs> what are you doing? Leave. You're going up there, are you? Let go then. Jelly. Come on. Hey. <laughs> what are you doing? Come on. You're going to eat the thread now. Yeah, I thought you might. What have you done? What have you done? <laughs> you didn't want me picking you up, did you? Oh, my word. You crazy bird. Come on. Good girl. <laughs> Come on now. Silly. Right, okay. Let's do some tidying up, shall we? Couldn't before, because you were on there. Yeah, look at you, you little monkey. Me? playing with those. That's a good idea. Oh, you're coming up, aren't you? Okay. Just tidy these up quickly. Yeah, I'll play with some thread. Jelly. Nope, not interested. Right, okay. So, <clears throat> The reason we don't continue to sew this end is because we want an inside pocket. So if we were to sew through there, our pocket would have two lines on where the webbing goes. So to continue sewing, we fold that back. Thank you, darling. Up you go. There we go. So fold that back. And then we can position that down, put it under the machine and continue to sew to the end. And again, we're going to stop, Shh. we're going to stop sewing a couple of centimetres before the end of the front of the bag. Mwah. Crazy bird. They call you crazy. <clears throat> right into position ruler to hand and seven centimeters seven. you don't like that bit do you no leave that alone ah, come on step down then 
you. believe my top stitch top thread has broke do, 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 do. right let's re-thread that quickly Sorry, Jelly. Sorry, baby. Seven centimeters. Yeah. <clears throat> Obviously, much easier with pins. Oh yourself but uh she's not allowing me So that one has been stitched all the way down one side now and there's no pocket on the back as in it's not been stitched on the back. A couple of dodgy ones there, sort them out in a sec. Right, I'm going to finish off with the other side and with that side um, and I'll get back to you. Right then, now I've done the webbing. Uh, we're going to turn it over and we're going to do the pocket. So for this pocket I'm going to sew along the edge here, also on this edge, and down the middle. Then I've got a place for my phone, um, I don't know, some other little bits that I want to add in there. So I should do the middle first. Just roughly. I'm also going to go just um, over the edge of the pocket and reverse stitch and forward again just to make that extra strong that seam. Right, let's cut that off and let's do the same for the edges. thread right let's re-thread that quickly again
one more I think I'll turn that round and do it that end right So that bit's done. So the next thing we're going to do <clears throat> is put on some Velcro at the front. So for me, I like to use this Velcro. It's double sided. So you've got the soft side, that side, and the, the hook and loop, isn't it? So that's the hook and that's the loop. Um, so what I'm going to do is right where the pocket where the pocket finishes or starts I'm going to start my velcro on there so I'm just going to cut a section off my scissors again doesn't have to be a big section roughly the same size now I'm going to need to trim this down as it's too wide for my webbing so you can see it sticks over so I'm just going to chop it down a bit <laughs> I think Jelly's calling for me Bessa right okay so that We'll stitch on there so again straight stitch up there across down just along the edges and the same with that side and I'm using the softer side up so I've got the loop facing up right I shall sew those two into place and we'll go on to the next bit going to go a little bit down again just so it doesn't come away so easily okay that's one section done and same for the other side Just above the pocket.
Okay, so that's that bit done. Right. <clears throat> now we're going to be doing up the sides. So just grab a corner. I tend to start with these ones first because this part is going to be slightly longer. Um, and I, I, I just cut it off and do a, a zigzag stitch at the end. So what you will have to do with this fabric is just cut a triangle or a, an angle. So where this thread finishes from sewing along there, I'm just going to cut a diagonal. This will now allow me to move this fabric along there so that I can stitch it on the corner and have a nice seam. And I will grab my little clips just to clip it in place. over so that excess there I'm going to trim off I can find my scissors what have I done with them big scissors there we go right just going to trim that off and then before I join it together I'm just going to zigzag that's closed just so again it doesn't fray. to make my pattern slightly longer only for um, if you don't quite get the middle in the middle you've got a bit of playroom so let's just take that back together right, I'm gonna go and let Jelly in because she's calling for me bless her there you go she's come back Right, you can be quiet now, Jelly. Hey? Radio. So, um, you can see there where I finished the stitch from the bottom. So I'm going to join it on there. Hello, darling. You come back to cause problems, eh? it on a zigzag stitch. That's not very clever, is it? No, you laughing at me? Hmm? Quickly undo that. I know, you're laughing at me, baby. Oh dear. Let's quickly unpick it. There we go. Done. Right, let's start again. So, forward. Yes, baby.
So the little bit that we've got left here, I'll just leave that. Some people like to cut it off, but it doesn't make a lot of difference to me. So this is the sides going on now, as you can see. Some people, if you want to make this into um, a handbag or, or anything else, you can grab some either some more of the webbing and attach a D-ring at this point, just so you can attach a strap. So we'll do the same with this one. So we're going to cut our diagonal just so I can move the fabric and it moves nicely. And just use some clips to keep it there. And again, we'll trim off the excess at the end. it flat hello and just trim the excess yeah and this jelly there you go no have this one have this one you're a nightmare aren't you Right, zigzag this closed quickly. Might be able to do it with birdie there. new to carry on thank you darling for doing that right let's repin this quickly yeah you're pinching all my pins all the clips mm -hmm. really See if we can do it without. So pop that under there. <laughs> you crazy bird. Sorry, you can't really see much with this one there. What are you doing? Mind yourself. crazy crazy bird right so i've done two of the sides now what i'm going to do is add the bottle holder now i always stitch up here first only so you can get this this seam here nice so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stitch that you're looking at about two centimeters up from the bottom and I'm just going to do a stitch along here just just to attach that holder so 
So this is bearing bearing in mind this is the inside of the bag. So when you attach it to the other corner, the other side, it's gonna look pretty on the inside. So let's quickly attach that on. Perfect. Right, so now we're going to do the same, same with this side. So cut a triangle or a little diagonal in the fabric. Twist that up. Pin it in place. Now this side, you'll need to bring this over. So I'm going to put that just there. What are you doing? So, a couple of centimetres up. And there. Can you leave my clips alone, please? Okay. And now we're going to... Up there, baby. Right, and now we're going to sew this together. together because she's not allowing me to let go little monkey so on this side which also has the, the top and the flap that goes over you need to stop it at about a centimeter from the top Oh, that's enough now. Come on. Hey! Right. About a centimetre from the top. Okay, so that's one side finished. So now we've just got to do this one. So where the stitching ends, just cut a diagonal. just so that you can move the fabric round nicely and create and create a nice corner just there I'll put a pin in there and stitch
and don't forget to leave a centimetre at the top. Right, I'm going to have to go and rescue Jelly. She's very quiet. Give me a sec. Right, we're on the home stretch. So this section here, we're just going to fold it down with some clips. Right, so do that all the way around. And then we'll sew that down just to neaten it up a little bit. and folding this down a little bit more only because it's a bit different of a um, I didn't quite cut it short enough so left a bit of an extra gap Use that up Alrighty. Right, I'm going to take this section off. It's just easier for me to get into. So the edge. I'm not going to go over the seams, actually. Let's risk it for a biscuit. Don't want the needle breaking. Let's try it. Yeah, no. Back stitch. If you know you've got the right needle in your machine you can you can quite happily just go over that but I'm, I'm not going to risk it on this one it's not a very powerful sewing machine and I don't want to break it so let's do the edge Right, let's get this last bit sorted. So the next bit we need to do which is the last main bit, apart from the Velcro attachment, is fold this bit over. So, so 
this is the top. Now the corners, I'm going to be cutting my corners, but you can, if you get a nice crease, is fold it diagonally and then fold it in and then fold it in that way. Gives you a nice, a nice finish. It's completely up to you. might risk that today. You should try it. I normally cut them because I have um, uh, little metal corners that I quite often put on the on the corners. It just helps protect them. But let's do it the proper way, shall we? That goes in there. A diagonal. Also ironing this, if you were to iron it in place, that would make folding it a lot easier as well. But I'm a bit of a in a hurry type of person. Put that on there, keep it there. And do a couple more there. One there, one there. Right, are we ready? I'm going to sew front end in on this one. So right side up, I'm sewing on this time. Regarding your webbing, I'm going to sew directly on top. Just gives it that extra strength. Especially if you're on a scooter or a bike, I sort of yank it up to open, open the bag. Let's trim these extra bits off. Another one here. And another one here. Right then. And you have just made yourself a bag. Moment of truth. Turn it inside out. Corners. Nice. Right. 
so at this point I will and I'll have to do that in a um, separately I, I won't have a video for that I have cam snaps and what I'm going to do is just put a couple of cam snaps in here to pop that closed it just makes it look a bit neater when it's actually on a bike or a scooter or even if you're making it into a handbag and same for that side just like that and then you have your front go over in fact I should have made that shorter there we go front comes over and what I like to do is put the velcro from here upwards because if your bags open you've still got the velcro here to snip it down to and you know so you can fit sandwiches you can fit your drinks bottle in here you've got a couple of pockets another one at the front so I'm gonna put some cam snaps on then I'll be back right so I've done cam snaps in the corners just to keep it closed now velcro scissors we're on the home stretch now so gonna close that up like that so you can still access the little pocket while it's closed gonna get some of this and measure probably leave a couple of centimeters from there and so it's about there when I need it back that doesn't stick together in there and let's trim it down make sure that fits perfect Oops. little clip there <laughs> and helps if it's the right way around little clip there and another one there so this is the last bit that we're doing so straight stitch on this put that in there And sew it on. Right, same for the other side.
so there you have your little bag and of course it velcro is closed so here's the finished bag and we'll close the cam snaps up just makes it a bit tidier there we go you can close it up so the pocket at the front inside we've got a bottle holder we've also got a couple of pockets uh, phone and keys and space for everything else uh, I also made one earlier in a leatherette slightly different design but it's all the same thing and also one in canvas but this one actually attaches to my scooter I've um, 3d printed some braces and quick release you just hook it on there we go thank you for watching and i'll see you soon